Hi, this is Matthew Davis with Haverford Systems and CrestronAirMedia.com. Today I'm going to be giving you a small demonstration of the Crestron Air Media in action. Uh, specifically, we'll be showing it collaborating with a PC, a Macintosh, an iOS device, and when eventually the software comes out, Android as well. Um, the Crestron Air Media is already on our network. By default, it's set for DHCP. So, more or less, the device is plug and play. Once it's plugged in, you'll notice two important pieces of information. The IP address of the device and the code. The IP address lets you immediately talk to the unit and the code actually allows you to start presenting through the unit. Um, let's see. First, we will get the PC, uh, which is on the same network as the device, to display up on the screen. So first I would type in the IP address of the device and we would be greeted with uh, either a Windows client or a Mac depending on what we're on. In this case it's Windows. Once it's downloaded you will see a teeny little black box that pops up with the Crestron logo. Um, if I were to push play you'll see me immediately go up on the screen. If you notice I'm up in the lower or the upper right or upper left quadrant, um, we could go full screen if we want, but in the uh, effort to try and show these devices collaborating, uh, I'm going to leave it in the top corner. So now if we come over to the Mac, we've downloaded the software. I'm going to tell it to project in the upper right hand corner. And now we have a Macintosh showing up there as well. To make it a little easier to differentiate, I'll change what's being shown here, and you can see they're two separate devices. We come over to the iOS device. And we go to the Air Media icon, which can be downloaded from the uh, either the Play Store or the App Store. We're greeted with a bunch of images. So if I were to click on this photo and tell it to go into the lower left, we will now see it's projecting up into the lower left corner. Finally, um, we would be showing you the Android device, but the software has not yet been released. It should be forthcoming in the next week or two. Uh, at that point, we'd also be able to show any Android device up on the screen. Um, and that's what we have. We have all the devices collaborating in a Hollywood Square style. Um, obviously, any of them could go full screen at any time. Um, I hope this walkthrough has been helpful. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please visit us either at Haverford.com or CrestronAirMedia.com, and we'll see what we can do to get one of these in your hands.